Hello my friends, it's time for a super secret sauce video. Let's open up the Book of Affinity Photo Mysteries because I'm gonna show you my favorite blend ranges trick in Affinity Photo ever. But before we get started, I wanna remind you of my Black Friday everything bundle deal that is insane and I wanna share it with you because I think you should get it. It includes all of my pro packs I've created so far. Let me read the list. It's my brush collection, the slideshow designs, the 80 LUTs, the portrait styles, the landscape styles, the mock-ups, the autumn styles and the winter wonderland pack that I just released this Saturday. All of them pro pack versions, so the biggest versions there are for an incredibly low price. This deal runs until this Saturday, so really get it. If you don't, I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> Sorry for that. Let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so you maybe know I do live streams. I edit photo in my live streams and this is the best trick. I really love this trick. So here we have a thunder picture. And when you look on the right side where the layers are, you can see one of the layers in brackets says image. The other one says pixel. This works best if you have a layer that says image. So go to file and then place and place a picture in your affinity photo file on the canvas. So this is an image layer. This is an important step. And with that, you can see when you look at the thunder picture here, the big thing about the thunder is the thunder is very bright and the background is rather dark. So we can make a selection from that. You simply go here to the little cogwheel, click on that, you get the blend ranges and push the left side down until you only see the bright parts. And then you can make the bright parts a little bit brighter by pushing this in. Maybe push this the dark side's a little bit in so we get a closer selection and you can see only the thunder remains. But this is not the amazing trick I want to show you. This is the amazing trick because now you can go to effects, tap for your layer effects and you can use for example glow and you can see that the glow is wrapping around the thunder like you would use a mask and you can even use the inner glow to make it completely white by just using white and pushing up the radius. You can see plop and it gets completely white in the inside and it has a nice shine on the outside that of course you can resize any, any strength you want, any color you want. So you can go really crazy, make really powerful thunders, but you can also use it for anything else that has high contrast. Now, if you remember before I said, this should be image and not pixel layer. Let me explain why. So let's use the pixel layer here. It's the same image and I can still do my blend ranges selection, but here is a big difference that you should know about. So I do this, it looks basically the same, but now if I go to my effects and I wanna turn on my outer glow, this happens. It doesn't work, it does not grab around the thunder, it's working on all of the picture. There's a workaround for that, but it makes things a little bit more complicated. So you need to do your blend range adjustments on the pixel layer. That's important, do it on the pixel layer. And then when you have done that, right click on it and say group. And now you do the effects for the group. That is important for the group. And now if you click on outer glow, it works in the same way and you click on the inner glow and it works in the same way. Let's make this white here. And you can see you also have a very powerful thunder effect now, looks the same way. It is a bit more complicated because you have to put it inside of a group. So I would rather suggest that you use an image layer. And again, to create an image layer, you go to file and place, select the file and then put it onto your canvas here. So this is as an image layer. This was a trick. I think it's really amazing. It's one of, if not the favorite trick I use all the time. And by the way, follow me on Instagram. I post a picture that I edit every day and also watch my live streams where I edit live. You can ask me questions, you can make suggestions and also I, I do challenges where I review your pictures in the live stream. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you a nice day and please take advantage of the, big, uh, the Black Friday everything bundle deal uh, because it's really good. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>